Now, your first alert forecast from meteorologist Toban Sharifi. Today, Palm Springs hit a high temperature of 91 degrees. That is above our average of 87, but at least we're clear from those record-breaking temperatures. The record for today was 104 degrees. It started off nice and comfortable as well, right where we should be, and we'll see those temperatures right where we should be as we head into the weekend. Overall, still staying dry, but there is some rain on the way for areas west of us. Right now, those temperatures in the 80s, 88 in Palm Springs, 86 in La Quinta, out in the East Valley or in the lower to mid 80s. Those higher elevations, temperatures a little bit cooler, 68 up at the tram. We're tracking this trough of low pressure right now out to the west, so not feeling a whole lot when it comes to those effects. That's why we were still in the 90s today, but it does push closer to us as we make our way into the weekend. So heading into the weekend, tracking some cooler temperatures, closer to seasonal Saturday, which means we'll be in the upper 80s, but also increasing those onshore winds, so bringing in some gusty westerly winds along with it. Now, heading into Sunday, you'll notice that trough just right over us in Southern California, and that is going to drop our temperatures even more. We're talking about temperatures in the lower 80s, and the cooling actually carries on as we head into Monday. When we're talking about those onshore winds, though, right now we're looking at gusts to 36 miles per hour out in whitewater. Not a whole lot when it comes to those winds on the valley floor, but as we head throughout the course of the next 24 hours or so, we are going to still track a bit of a breeze. So these are your future wind gusts. So heading into this evening, gusts in the 20s on the valley floor, reaching into the 40s out near whitewater, and it kind of just stays that way as we head into our Saturday. But as we start to make our way out of Saturday, those winds will begin to shift. So now we're talking about winds out of the northeast. So going into Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon, we do have a fire weather watch as those winds shift and conditions become drier, humidity about 10% that is going to elevate fire weather. Now, the Coachella Valley, not in that, but areas in the high desert, so farther north, 29 Palms, and farther west, looking at those very dry conditions elevating fire weather risk. Satellite and radar, we're really just picking up on that cloud cover moving in overhead. And I did talk a little bit about those rain chances, so let's break that down. Closer to the coast, that marine layer is going to be very thick. The chance for that to sprinkle out some showers will be there tomorrow morning and heading into the evening hours. Now, we are still tracking that trough, again, moving in, providing that lift. So as we head into Sunday, the early morning hours, the potential is going to be there. So if you're heading out to the west or for our local mountains, we are tracking that potential to see some light rain. A live look out of El Paseo Cam, seeing that cloud cover overhead, temperatures into the 70s as we make our way into the later evening. So overall, it is expected to be nice with a nice weekend, dropping into the lower 80s by our Sunday. Your Comfort Air 7-day forecast. Monday will be the coolest day, 72 degrees, and then we're seeing those temperatures warming back up as we head into next week, the 90s by Thursday and Friday. John it's Karen. a beautiful range to be in. It, it is. is. Yeah. Thanks, Devon. Thank you, Devon. <laughs>